Hi, I'm Nathan Zampronio, and I'm asking for your support to continue as one of your Liberal councillors. I want you to examine my track record as I've spent the last five years explaining complex issues, advocating not just for local concerns, but for liberal values grounded by an understanding of the philosophical roots of our party. When I was elected, I considered that engaging with you and with the broader community was a fundamental part of my job. I'm out there in the community. I've made dozens of videos. I've participated in many, many interviews. And I've appeared in the media regularly to support good government. Whether that's about Warragamba Dam. Well, for this community, it's a matter of life and death. Local councillor Nathan Zamprogno has had enough and wants his community protected. If we can ensure against the severity of a, of a bad flood by 75% for under a billion dollars, when you look at a potential damage bill of between seven and ten billion dollars, to me that seems like money well spent. The effects of flooding. This is, this is the worst flood since at least the 1980s. And what it, re what it reveals to me is that it is high time that uh, both Labor and Liberal treated the issue of flood mitigation as a bipartisan issue. There are people who would seek to squash this project based on this false premise that this is an ulterior way of bringing more development uh, into the floodplain and I don't want to see that happen either. Nathan Zimbrogno's ancestor was killed in floods in this area. The council has been campaigning for the wall to be lifted for years. But you have to balance the risks to the environment upstream with the potential catastrophic loss of life and property downstream. What support we get from other tiers of government when development is foisted upon us. Uh, there was a scheme called LIGS, Local Infrastructure Growth Scheme, which meant that you could spend 70,000 or more per block to get the right outcome. And I suspect that in those massive developments, they have significantly better economies of scale than we do in Glossodia, where we're doing 580 lots. I cannot understand why $40,000 is enough to spend on infrastructure to get all of those assets that the locals and the people moving into that area will expect to make it a quality development. And I lay the blame for this at the feet of the state government who encourage us to meet our housing quotas, in fact, Im impose growth areas on us like Vineyard Stage 1 yeah. and say, you will develop here, but then don't give us any money towards the infrastructure costs. I've defended Australia Day. Celebrating Australia Day on the 26th of January is evolving beyond merely the day that we remember, the pioneers who came to a strange and challenging land, building a prosperous and peaceful society, which is now the envy of the world. Australia is a youthful, peaceful, democratic, pluralist, secular, lawful, compassionate, innovative and good-humoured country. That's something genuinely worth celebrating. And on January 26th, I will be giving thanks that I live in such a country. Or it's just when I'm out and about in our community, recognising and encouraging others for their good work. Okay, ready? So, we're here in Macquarie Park, here in Windsor, and today all of the local scouting organisations have come together for what they call Founders Day. Finally, on council amalgamations and on road corridors, we stood together, even though that position was against a, a proposal by our state Liberal colleagues. See, there have been some times where Liberals don't agree where some Liberals haven't voted with myself or my colleagues. I was not in favour of undemocratic planning panels. I felt that planning matters should be made by a chamber that is democratically accountable to you, the voters. Now, some of my colleagues disagreed, and they're free to express their reasons. I opposed a development application for a Hindu temple at McGrath's Hill, while my colleagues voted for it. I voted against a motion to diminish the importance of Australia Day. And when we were reforming council's committee structures, 
I remembered that many of you feel that our party has a, a poor reputation for looking after heritage. So I supported retaining council's heritage committee. As it relates to the heritage committee, I'm gonna take the magnanimous view that the change of heart has been because of the quite overwhelming uh, support that I've received and which has been relayed to the other councillors about the value of the Heritage Committee. And I won that argument, and I supported the reforms after negotiating that concession. I'm not opposed to development, but I will declare that I am more cautious about inappropriate development, and I will protect what makes the Hawkesbury such a special place to live. Over the decades, the proportion of Australia's population growth from migration has continued to rise. In 2018, it accounted for 61%. And here in Sydney, that effect is concentrated and rises to 84% of net population growth. It shouldn't be surprising that Liberals can disagree. What's important is engaging in that debate respectfully and laying the reasons out before you so that you can decide who you agree with. I am hopeful for your ongoing support and thank you for watching.